Hey, it's Ray Nyax, Mel the Train Shooter, back in the studio and back with another Let's Make for you. And in this Let's Make, we're going to be looking at how to make cheap and easy terrain gloop for all your terrain glooping needs. Come on over to the bench and I'll tell you how. Right, terrain gloop time. Uh, terrain gloop is an all-purpose sort of hardener, come sealer, come base coat, come texture. Yeah, and it's made up of a lot of common, really basic ingredients. Okay, first off we've got the filler, which is the main part of the mix. Yeah, we've then got some PVA, which sort of helps it all bond together. Yeah, we've got paint, uh, that obviously gives it its pigment and its base colour. And then finally, we've got grit. Okay, and that's for the texturing. Yeah, filler will give it a bit of a texture, but not as good as grit. Okay, now, we start off with filler. And if you're doing just a few pieces, yeah, one of these one pound sort of tubes would be fine, but obviously, you know, Trust me to have a big tub, yeah. Now I've got a plastic cup there. Let me put it there. Still doing this camera stuff, yeah. And spoon. I'm gonna put about that much in. Yeah, push as much of it down to the water the bottom. Yeah. And then clean it off. So that's the filler in, yeah. Now you can use lots of different things other than filler. There's various casting powders you can use, all sorts of different things. That, that Some of them cure quicker, some of them are tougher, some of them are both. Yeah, but with regards to getting it quick and easy, yeah, fillers you're gonna find in most sort of DIY shops. And you're gonna be able to pick it up relatively cheap, which is why I'm using it for this. We'll cover all the other powders in a terrain lab. Right, next up is your base color. Okay, now obviously I'm doing this rocky rock. So I'm gonna go for gray, yeah? If you're doing sort of land pieces, that sort of stuff, a brown works well. Yeah, if you want a general one for all sorts of different pieces, yeah, then go for a standard black, yeah? And you want it to be roughly one sixth of the, of the filler, yeah? So, in that case, roughly about that much, yeah? Sort of a layer on top of the cup. So I've got, what, an inch, inch and a bit, then about a quarter of an inch of paint, yeah? And then the next one is PVA, okay? Now, when you mix this, because the filler is white, the PVA is white, your paint is going to get lighter. Don't worry, it will dry darker, as all paint does. Yeah, we're gonna sort of do, we're gonna match the, the paint layer, okay? So how, how much we've got in paint, we're gonna put in in PVA. There we go. So, there you have it, yeah? A layer of PVA. Next up is the grit. Okay, now what grit you decide to use is completely down to you. Okay, now before you put it in, give it all a good stir. It will go a bit sloppy. Yeah, that's because the filler is mixing with the PVA and is mixing with the paint. So, there we are, yeah? And that's what it's looking like. Yeah, it's sort of melted ice cream. Get it in front of the camera, Bose. Yeah. Yeah, next off, our texture. And for this, bog standard grit. Now what you need to do is sort of do this in parts. Don't just dump it all in. So put a wedge in, yeah? Just a layer, give it a stir. Another layer. And when it starts to go like that, okay, you've got just enough in there. Give it a good stir. There we have it. And if I bring it up so you can see the texture, yeah, if I give it a stir, when it can form those sharp peaks, you've got it perfectly right. If you can't get the sharp peaks, you need to add a little bit more grit, okay? Yeah, don't add too much grit. Also with the paints, I'm using emulsion here, which is latex paint for those guys in the US. Basically interior wall paint. You can use acrylics, but it can be a little bit expensive, you know what I mean? So best stick to the tester pots. Right, last thing we need to do is just paint it on. Okay, so 
we've got our little polystyrene rock piece here. Now what's good about this is you can see lots of the polystyrene bobbles. Yeah, you can see lots of the join lines and you can see a bit of PVA on it. Okay, now what that means is that it's a good piece to show you how well this stuff covers stuff up. So, it is as simple as getting it, give it a bit of a stir, because with the grit and everything will sit to, sink to the bottom, the liquids will rise to the top, so the top will always be more liquidy. So always give it a good stir, yeah, with your brush before you sort of apply it, yeah, and it's just a simple matter of coating it on. It gets messy, you know how I love messy. Right, I'm just going to go coat it on. I'll see you in a moment. So there we have it guys. It's all coated up. I've coated the base as well. Yeah, and immediately you can see, oh, it does get a little bit sloppy in places. Yeah, so you have to stipple those out. Yeah, but immediately you can see that it's covered up that rocky bobble that the polystyrene has. It's giving it a lovely texture. Yeah, we just need to wait for it to dry for it all to, oh, missed a bit. There you go. Right, let's leave that to dry and we'll come back when it's dry, eh? So there you have it, guys. Yeah, as you can see, it's completely textured that up. Yeah, it's giving it its base coat. It's also going to provide us with a nice hard covering. It's hidden all the bobbles. Yeah, and when that dries, we'll be ready just to finish it off. Now, I've only used, perhaps, a quarter of an inch worth. Of actual, yeah, so that makes we put together easily do an entire set of scatter hills, scatter rocks with no worries whatsoever. Just remember, keep mixing it up because the heavy stuff will sit to the bottom and, and the liquidy stuff will sit to the, will go to the top. So give it a stir every so often, especially with your brushes, you're applying it. Yeah, ah, there we go. Look at me holding that off screen. Right, let's let it dry and I'll bring it back when it's dry, eh? So there we have it guys, all done. And as you can see, now our terrain gloop has dried. We've got a lovely hard, base coated, textured, sealed, finished piece. And if I bring it up to the camera, there you go. Yeah. Quite spanking. There you are. Right, so that's all there is to do. Remember, we probably used about what? 20 pence worth of materials to do this. So with a simple tube, you know, a pound tube, a pound test pot, yeah, a pound's worth of PVA, a pound's worth of grit, yeah, you could do an entire table. Or oh, close enough, you could do an entire terrain set, you know what I mean. Yeah, so there you are. Easy, simple terrain group. So, that's it guys. Let's set off the long shot, eh? So guys, there you have it. Cheap and easy terrain group, yeah. Just nip down to your local DIY store, a quid on a, a tube of a filler, a quid on a tester pot, a quid from the craft store on some PVA, and a bit of grit out of the garden, and you can coat an entire set. Yeah, an absolute entire set of rocks. And they're easy to build. I've done videos on these before. Yeah, they're in the Hills playlist. Yeah, one tough, solid, base coated, sealed, ready to go hill. Yeah, so use it. Let me know. Now, obviously, there's other casting powders you can use, yeah? Please, if you're using other mixes to make your terrain group, let me know in the comments, yeah? Because what I want to do is I want to do a terrain lab and look at a whole range. So if you're using something different, let me know, and I'll add it to the list for when we do the terrain lab. And hopefully, yeah, with your help and my help, we'll find out what the ultimate terrain group sort of recipe is, yeah? But I need your help for that. Uh, if you've got any other questions or anything on this, in the comments, guys. And obviously, likes and shares and that sort of stuff if you know people will find this helpful. And finally, guys, as always, the patron thing. It is only $1. It's not even a pint or a pork pie or a sandwich. Yeah, but it makes a massive difference to me because it gives me the time, the resources to make these tutorials for you and for the community. Yeah, and you know, you're helping a, a, a bit of a, a grey nutter, yeah, with his, his passion and his terrain dream. So seriously, guys, if you've enjoyed this video, if you're going to use it, if it's useful, yeah, consider the one dollar. And remember, if you're not into, into like, you know, the monthly thing and that sort of stuff, yeah, you can always nip down below in the PayPal and just send a couple of quid that way. It's all appreciated because it all goes on this kit, yeah, this room and everything and keeping me going. Yeah, and making the main focus of my job, making terrain and terrain tutorials for you guys, rather than doing commissions, which isn't what I really want to do. It's the terrain shoot I want to do, but I can't do it without you. I'm happy to do it for the community. I just need a bit of community support. You know what I mean, guys?
So anyway, listen, really, really, really appreciate it if you do, guys. And if not, well, I'm still going to crack on the best I can, aren't I? Yeah, so there you have it. Terrain group. Awesome terrain group. Really good, really solid. And we're coming back with more tutorials real soon. See you soon, folks. Ta-da.